Greetings students. Today we are going to learn about one of Japan's leading electric company, Tokyo Electric Power. Let us know this company in a much better way. Tokyo Electric Power Company Incorporated or Tekko is a Japanese electric utility servicing Japan's Kanto region, Yamanashi Prefecture and the eastern portion of Sizaoka Prefecture. This area includes Tokyo. Its headquarters are located in Yushi Saivaicho, Shiyada, Tokyo and international branch offices exist in Washington DC and London. It is a founding member of strategic consortiums related to energy innovation and research. In 2007, TAPCO was forced to shut the Kazuwazaki Kariwa nuclear power plant after the Niigata Suzu Oki earthquake. That year, it posted its first loss in 28 years. Corporate losses continued until the plan reopened in 2009. Following the March 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, its power plant at Fukushima Daiichi was the site of a continuing nuclear disaster. One of the world's most serious TAPCO could face a yen $2 trillion, $23.6 billion in special losses in the current business year to March 2012 and the Japanese government plans to put TAPCO under effective state control to guarantee compensation payments to the people affected by the accident. The Fukushima disaster displaced 50,000 households in the evacuation zone because of leaks of radioactive materials into the air, soil and sea. In July 2012, TAPCO received yen 1 trillion from the Japanese government. TAPCO's management subsequently made a proposal to its shareholders for the company to be part nationalized. The total cost of the disaster was estimated at $100 billion in May 2012. Japan's nine electric companies, including TAPCO, were established in 1951 with the end of the state-run electric industry regime for national wartime mobilization. In the 1950s, the company's primary goal was to facilitate a rapid recovery from the infrastructure devastation of World War II. After the recovery period, the company had to expand its supply capacity to catch up with the country's rapid economic growth by developing fossil fuels power plants and a more efficient transmission network. In the 1960s and 1970s, the company faced the challenges of increased environmental pollution and oil shocks. TAPCO began addressing environmental concerns through expansion of its LNG fuel power plant network as well as greater reliance on the deal with the devil nuclear generation. The first nuclear unit at the Fukushima Daiichi Fukushima first nuclear power plant began operational generation on March 26, 1971. During the 1980s and 1990s, the widespread use of air conditioners and ITOA appliances resulted a gap between day and night electricity demands. In order to reduce surplus generation capacity and increase capacity utilization, TAPCO developed pumped storage hydroelectric power plants and promoted thermal storage units. Recently, TAPCO is expected to play a key role in achieving Japan's targets for reduced carbon dioxide emissions under the Kyoto Protocol. It also faces difficulties related to the trend towards deregulation in Japan's electric industry as well as low power demand growth. In light of these circumstances, TAPCO launched an extensive sales promotion campaign called Switch promoting all electric housing in order to both achieve the more efficient use of its generation capacity as well as erode the market share of gas companies. The Washington Post reported that compared to American and European chief executives, TAPCO chief Simic Ju earns a pittance. TAPCO won't give his salary, but total remunerations for the president and 20 other directors came to $8.9 million in Fiscal 2009, the last period for which figures are available, an average of $4.45,000. Tokyo Electric Power could face 2 trillion yen, $23.6 billion in special losses in the current business year to March 2012 to compensate communities near its crippled Fukushima nuclear plant, according to JP Morgan. Japan plans to put TAPCO under effective state control so it can meet its compensation payments to people affected by radiation from its Fukushima first plant. 
Tokyo will set aside several trillion yen in public funds that TAPCO can dip into if it runs short for payouts to people affected. The company workers agreed to a management proposal to cut their pay as a sense of responsibility for the world's worst nuclear disaster. Annual remuneration for board members will be reduced by 50% since April 2011, while payment for managers will be cut by 25% and workers by 20% both since July 2011 and bonuses since June 2011. The company expects to save about 54 billion yen, dollar 659 million a year from the pay cuts. In July 2012, it was announced that annual salaries of managers will be reduced by at least 30% with workers' pay cut remaining at 20%. On average, employees' pay would be cut by 23.68%. In addition, the portion of the employee health insurance program that a company covers will be reduced from 60% to 50%, the standard in Japan. It was announced in July 2012 that the company would sell the hospital it owns in Shinjuki Ward in Tokyo. The hospital is used exclusively by current and former TAPCO employees and their families. Its market value is yen 8.6 billion. TAPCO is the largest electric utility in Japan and the fourth largest electric utility in the world after German RWE, French Electricide, D French and Germany's EON. As TAPCO stands in a leading position in this industry, they have relatively a strong effect for Japanese economics, environment and energy industry. Officials from Japan's Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, recently paid their second visit to the Department of Energy's Hanford site to explore solutions to aid in the cleanup of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, which was severely damaged by a tsunami, which resulted in a triple meltdown of its reactors. Hanford has long experience uh, in uh, managing and controlling uh, radioactive waste and also the disposal of the radioactive waste. And uh, since there are a lot of insights and experience, and also there's outstanding uh, facilities uh, here at Hanford, and uh, they have been doing an uh, outstanding analysis. So uh, I'm hoping to learn uh, through my experience here. The visit focused on technologies and proven cleanup methods that can be easily and readily applied at the Fukushima site. The department's headquarters has been working with Japan for over a year in a collaborative effort to solve some of the most vexing cleanup challenges at Fukushima. Among the cleanup priorities at Fukushima is contaminated groundwater, which is also one of the top challenges Hanford has been tackling over the years. With input from Hanford cleanup contractors and DOE, TEPCO officials toured the site to see the mechanisms and technology Hanford employs to remediate its contaminated groundwater. Of particular interest to the Japanese delegation was a new Hanford pump and treat facility that has greatly accelerated the effort to treat Hanford's 100 square miles of contaminated groundwater, of which more than 5 billion gallons have already been treated. Other stops on the tour demonstrated Hanford's expertise in on-site waste disposal, facility decontamination, and reactor disposition. Early June 2012, TAPCO announced that it would cancel all export of nuclear expertise abroad because it needed to focus on the stabilization of the damaged reactors in Fukushima, all participation in a program to supply and run two nuclear reactors at a plant in Vietnam would be cancelled. This project undertaken by International Nuclear Energy Development, a public company set up in 2010 by heavy machinery producers and power companies, including TAPCO, aims to promote Japanese nuclear expertise and exports. According to Naomi Hiros, director of TAPCO, our atomic power engineers still need to do a lot more to stabilize and decommission the reactors. At the cripple Fukushima Daiichi plant, and it is impossible to abandon the domestic targets and promote exports. So students, we got to know about the various aspects of Tokyo Electric Power. We went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope you must have got useful information about the company. Have a nice day. Goodbye.